I am a pastoral lead in a secondary school, so I look after 250 out of a thousand children from ages 11 to 16, and I take care of all the things the teachers don't, so the pastoral care, mental health, and um, sort of emotional well-being and things like that. Okay, and what do you like about your work? So I like personally the relationship that I get to have with the kids. Now, as a teacher, you do get to have some sort of a relationship with the kids, but you don't often get to know them on a one-to-one -one basis. That's where I come in, so I get to do that. So I've got to know over time some really, really amazing kids and change some of their well-being as well alongside getting to know them. So it's been a really interesting role for me and something that I fell into and I've just loved since. Has it ever been or the opposite side of that being quite difficult because of having to get to know the kids' lives? It's quite a lot. It's quite a big strain sometimes. So there's quite a lot of pressure, I would say, because you're taking on all of the stress that that kid has. Now, sometimes it can be as little as friendship falling out and things like that that I deal with. And then 10 minutes later, I could be going and dealing with a kid that's being neglected at home um, or emotionally or physically abused. And there's sort of no in between. It's very much a, a broad spectrum of things that we deal with. And that can be quite draining. Sometimes it can be quite hard, but I'm quite lucky that we've got a really good team where we share that quite often. So it's sort of, it's shared out between us. Um, so you're never dealing with something on your own. Um, and how did you start out? So I started out, I never ever wanted to work with teenagers ever. Um, I started at uni, I got a part-time job at uni, sort of working in colleges and things, promoting going to university and going into higher education. Um, through that, I just fell in love with working with young people and getting to know them and finding out what they wanted to do and helping them get there. Um, when I graduated, I knew I wanted to stay in sort of that role, but I didn't know how. And I just ended up applying on the off chance um, for this pastoral lead job that I saw. Went to the school, fell in love with the place and the kids. The kids were the ones who interviewed me and showed me around. So I knew instantly that's where I wanted to be um, and got the call the same day. And I've been there since. I've just loved doing it. Real. Um, and what would you say to somebody starting out today? I think it's about having a lot of resilience. I think there's a lot of knockbacks um, in the job market and whatever career you go for, it's never going to be yes all the way. Um, it's about knowing that you do have the strengths for the job or the career that you want, but being able to bounce back. Um, sometimes it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And say if someone quite similar to you was starting out in you know, your, your position, where it is obviously a lot and you didn't obviously i'm guessing you didn't really get much training what would mm -hmm. you say to them in terms of like protecting themselves i think take your time so take it slow it's you, no one's going to expect you in most roles to know how to do the job as soon as you walk in those doors and every job is so different and with mine you don't know what's going to come to you day to day i'm still learning three years into that job now because there's different things that kids bring to my door that I don't know how to cope with or deal with and I have to learn from other people. But equally with that, it's okay to be asking those questions and asking when you don't know. So I think I spent a long time when I started being nervous about saying that I didn't know how to do something and that's okay. Um, but it's about being able to ask those questions and say, actually, could you show me first? And I wish someone had given me that advice when I started, just ask all the questions you can.